A man travels by a motorboat down a river to his office and back. With the speed of the river unchanged, if he doubles the speed of his motorboat, then his total travel time gets reduced by 75%. The ratio of original speed of the motorboat to the speed of the river is, let's say, he goes down and then comes back up. Let's say his boat speed is B, stream speed is S. Going down, he has B plus S. Coming up, he has B minus S. Right, so some distance by B plus S plus the same distance by B minus S is time taken T. If he doubles the speed of his motorboat, D by 2B plus S plus D by 2B minus S, the time reduces by 75% or this becomes T by 4. We need to find original speed of the motorboat to the speed of the river. We need to find B is to S. This holds good. And so I'm going to remove T and D from this equation by dividing one by the other. If you divide this equation by this equation, D gets away. We'll have 1 by B plus S plus 1 by B minus S divided by 1 by 2B plus S plus 1 by 2B minus S to be equal to 4. Right. Let's simplify this. I'm going to take the LCM in the numerator, LCM in the denominator. So B minus S plus B plus S by b square minus s square divided by 2b minus s plus 2b plus s divided by 4b square minus s square equals 4. The s gets knocked off, s gets knocked off. This is 4b and this is 2b. So 2b by b square minus x square into 4b square minus s square by 4b equal to 4. The b gets knocked off. We have a uh, 2 here. 4b square minus s square by b square minus s square is 8. We want to find original ratio of speed of motorboat to that of river. We want to find b by s. Let's say we say b by s is equal to k. And further let's say b by s the whole square is equal to k. This is 4k minus 1 by k minus 1 is 8. 4k minus 1 is 8k minus 8. 8 minus 1 is 4k or k is 7 by 4. Or the ratio we are looking for the square root of 7 by 4 or root 7 is to 2. Wonderful question, not too complicated, but layers of computation and solving algebra involved. Get some practice into boat and speed idea, this should be true.